everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here again today on Simple Solo. I'm going to show you guys how to play the solo to Let It Be by George Harrison and the Beatles. The more aggressive album version of the solo, that is. Not the rather inferior single version of the solo, wherein, uh, for some reason, it was re-recorded, changed, and slightly buried in the mix, uh, rather than sitting right out front in the mix where it rightfully belongs. Uh, regardless, enough said. Let's close in here a little bit learn how to play this classic solo, shall we? All right, then, the uh, solo to Let It Be by George Harrison and the Beatles. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial, soloing in the key of C major, using the C major scale, much of it right in this position right here. And we're starting with double stops on the fifth fret of the D and the G. You're going to hammer onto a double stop on the sevens of the same two strings, back off to five. Then you're going to grab the seven of the A, quickly slide it back to five, and release it off to three. And then we're into this. Just going to slide into seven of the A, down to a double hit of the five of the D, back to the seven, and then back to the five. Into this. So we're going to hammer on 5 onto 7 of the D, down to the 5 of the G, right into a full step bend on the 7. Going to let it sit up there for a sec, pick it and release it, and then pull it off to 5. Do not pick this note, it's a pull off. So up to that point. And then we're into this. So we're sliding into 9 of the G down to the 8 of the high E and then right back to that 9 again of the G which we're going to slide back to 7. And then release it off to 5. When you release it off to 5 you're going to hammer right back on to 7. Kind of like that. And then you're going to hit that 7 again, give it a full step bend. And then you're going to grab this little double stop here on the fives of the B and the high E on the upstroke. Right back to that seven of the G, little bend release off to five. Right. And then finishing the first half of the solo with this. So double pull offs from seven off to five of the D. Grab the 7 of the A, quickly slide it back to 5. Hammer on 3 to 5, back off to 3 of the A, and that finishes the first half of the solo. So up to that point. And then we're into this. So we're on the 5 of the D, we're going to slide that into 7 of the D, down to the 5 of the G for a double hit. Back to the 7, back to the 5. Then you're going to grab the 7, slide it into 9, and then grab the uh, 8 of the B string. Kind of like that, right? And then you're going to repeat that slide two more times. Sliding into nine, grabbing that eight. And then you're going to drop onto the ten of the B. And then into this. So after you drop onto that ten, you're going to hammer on eight to ten. Drop onto the 8 of the high E, right into a full step bend on the 10 of the high E. Another bend. Release it off to 8, hammer on to 10, release it back off to 8 again. So, from the middle of the solo.
and then we finish with this. So we're grabbing the 15 of the high E full step bend release. Kind of a slow release right back to the natural note. Jump up to the 15 of the B. Little bend release off to 13, hammer back onto 15. And then you kind of repeat that. However, the second time when you release it off to 13, you're gonna hammer back onto 15 and then release it back off to 13. Kind of like that. And that's the end of the solo. So from the middle, from the beginning. And there you go. That is how you play the solo to Let It Be by George Harrison and the Beatles. Certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to the growth of my little channel. I uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we will see you next time. Cheers.